All right, so I ordered this broken PS4 off of the internet. So we're going to open it up, give it a quick test to see. If it is broken, there are a lot of things that they say are broken, and then I get them and they're not. But we will try to get in the board. That's a lot of bubble wrap right here. Try to save it, you know what I'm saying? That's money. Off some bubble wrap. Uh oh. Uh, don't sound good. Goodness gracious, man. This sucker ain't got roaches. That will not be okay. All right, where where did my where's my cutting tool go? Here it is. They did not want this broken device to be damaged. Sometimes I get stuff, they'll put it in a padded envelope and send it to you. And it's like, bro, okay, you know, I mean, I get it, it's damaged, but my lord. There is a, man, this is a big old, boy, you could put some bull peanuts in that thing right there. That's a big bag. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I hope this, man, maybe this thing had roaches or something. So they're like, yeah. I hope it still ain't got some live roaches in there. Uh oh. That's what I found. I think that might be a sticker from a different one. All right. All right, what we got going on here? Okay, does it have a hard drive? I think you can just take this off, right? Yeah, I think that just, uh, you know what? I'm not sure now, to be honest. HDMI port. It's either dirty or I'm gonna have to look under the microscope. I'll switch over to the microscope. Yeah, that, that HDMI port does not look does not look healthy. Alright, how do you zoom in on this thing? Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Hey, looks like it's smiling. Well, we definitely don't have to change that. I'm not even sure there's any point in plugging an HDMI cable into that. All right, let's, uh, let's switch back to the camera. All right. So, uh, you know what? Let's, um, I'm not sure what I need to take out to you. Let's take out this screw in the back right here just to make sure that's not holding anything in all right now yeah. 
Dude, why, what is what is holding this thing, bro? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. No hard drive. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. All right. Let's plug it in. See what it does. It's, um... Does eject work? It does. That means we're getting our standby voltages. All right, power works. Let's see if it comes up to a white light. Hey, hey, we got a white light. Let me take my floppy dag and clap, clap, clap. So use all my feet get cold. So I'm fairly certain. This thing probably just needs an HDMI port. So I'm going to power this thing down. Well, it needs an HDMI port and a hard drive. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and disassemble this bad boy and quickly replace that HDMI port. I say quickly. That's only my second time ever doing it, so. So this screw is out. So let's um let's take this screw out. Let's take this screw out. Pop this up. Pop that up. Slide that off. Set it to the side. Now let's very carefully. Let's uh, very carefully peel these warranty stickers off. Well, what we'll do. Our handy dandy screwdriver. All right, let's put you back. Let's um, let's take this side. We'll just set those there. I'll heat them up with the hot air station to. Get them stuck back on there. Let's take you. Oh, don't lose that, bro. All right, let's do the other one. Let's do the other one. Oh, come on, bud. Come on, don't fight me now. It's been going good. Alright, let's put this one right here. Alright, let's take that out. Alright. Moment of truth. Are we going to have... Uh, how do you get in here? Make sure we don't do oh, a little dusty, a little dusty. Make sure we don't damage this thing right here, because this right here, on another one I was working on, I could not get that set correctly so that it would actually maintain contact with the eject pad, which the eject pad is located right here. So, anyways, uh, we got fuzzies. So let's uh, let's go ahead and finish disassembling. Let's get the power supply out of there. Hopefully, y'all can see what I'm doing. Get this one out. 
I can't get the camera up high enough to all right so this is Phillips where is my Phillips bit here is my Phillips bit actually you know what? yeah I do got to take this out to get the to get the motherboard out Come on, bud. Come on. You can do it, man. There we go. Oh. All right. Let's put you here. You here. All right. You there. I like to pry with these right here. I like to take and get something to wedge in there and just twist to get it loose. Then I can pull this cable out. I could also probably pull this whole thing out. Ooh, I see a roach, bro. Look at that. You all see that? Oh, nasty. Nasty. Actually, that might not be a roach. I don't know what that is. Might just be some random bug. All right, let's set this to the side. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull this cable out. Good, this thing has never been apart, boy. Everything's all tough to get out. That's a beautiful thing. All right, so let's um, press down on this little tab. I wonder if I can get in closer to some of this. So let's um, press down on that tab, pull that right out. Then we're going to take this cable here, fish it from underneath the hook. And now wiggle, wiggle that cable free. And then it's hooked right in here, right in here. And then we'll pull that out just like that. And that's free. So now put our spline bit back on there actually let's go ahead and disconnect our try it's hard to do this try to keep all of this so the camera can see it all let's get this make sure we don't tear up anything all right so now move that to the side, take this screw here. right there need to come out I don't know if this screw needs to come out to get this drive out and I don't think well, you know what let's just let's take it let's take it out and hope I remember and that's where I took it from Oh, that's a that's a tri wing. Yeah, can't use that, bro. I need some more bits, man. Here we go. How about this? Right, let's put you there. Oh, you know what? There's another one right down here. I forgot about that one. Let's just take this ribbon cable out. Make sure. It All right. By the way, I paid uh, forty-six dollars plus shipping, so it ended, and tax ended up being. Um, I don't know exactly how much it was, but probably like I don't know, fifty-six bucks, sixty bucks, something like that. 
So if we can fix this with just an HDMI port replacement, we should be able to make uh, a little bit of profit on it. All right, so take this screw out right here. Locate it down here. Put you there. All right, so I think that's all the screws. Everything that needs to be taken. What is that, dude? What in the world? All right, let's flip this over. Let's flip this over. And let's start disassembling uh, this. Oh, that's what was... Well, it would have been nice if we could have had all of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well. We'll figure out something. All right, so let's raise this camera back up. So I can just get all of these screws out. Right. Let's take our tweezers and let's pop this little cable off. Let's switch back to our Phillips head bit and take the heat sink off. Oh. So we're going to try to get this HDMI port off easy with this Yahoo 853D. It's a cheap 153, I think I paid 153 dollars. And it came with the soldering iron and the heat station and a power supply. So uh, I got one more screw. All right. <clears throat> One more screw. Lord have mercy. They did not want this joker to get away. All right. So is that everything? Is that everything? I think it is. Okay. So, so now we should be able to pull this board right out. We gotta be careful there because I don't wanna crack the well, what's missing here? Well something's got a hold of it. I've got all the screws out. Got all the screws out. I don't see any more screws. I think it's just the, uh, let's, um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Let's, let's just take and heat up the back of the, maybe the thermal paste. I had a couple PS3s that I was doing this with, just disassemble them to wash them, and, uh, I think it cracked the solder balls underneath because they were working 
And then after I got done doing this, they were no longer working. So, and I mean, I'm not completely, I'm not a complete moron to, to disassemble things, you know. See, what, what is, you know, maybe it's just I need to pry a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's what the problem was. I needed to pry. All right. Okay. So, it's free. The board looks super good. So it's very clean. And just dusty. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, hold on. Let's switch over to the. Let's switch over. I'm glad I did not plug this in. Let's switch over to the microscope. Let's switch over to the microscope. I want to show you something. <laughs> Look at that, bro. Oh, dude. Somebody. Somebody didn't like it that the HDMI port wasn't working, so they were like, bro, you're going to work today. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to try to stretch out this camera. I don't have a, a super professional setup, you know what I'm saying? I've got like the cheapest thing, cheapest way you can go set up. Everything's falling on the desk. I got cables every friggin' way. This is insane. Alright, so look, come on, can I get this out just a little bit further? Alright, so that's. Oh my goodness. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put a little flux on this. And then we're just gonna heat it up until it comes off. You know what model is this? You know, I never did it. I, I didn't look. This is... It's 1115A? Yeah, it's an 1115A. Alright. Let's get you focused. So that means it's got the little plate that'll protect those little filters. So, what I'm going to do... Uh, you're not going to see, but I'm going to angle it towards myself. I'm on the edge of my desk. Um, and when I see things look like it's melting, I, I hope none of these pads are ripped. So I've never done trace repair on something so small. So this is real time, so we're just waiting for the solder to melt. I can give it a little jiggle. Nothing so far. Nothing so far. Perhaps I should have added some butted solder. We go. And remarkably, I don't think any pads are ripped. Alright. So that. Let's see if we can zoom in. That is what the. That's what it looks like. Kind of kind of crusty looking. Alright, so. Um, we're going to go ahead. Cut on our solding iron. And then we'll add some. As a matter of fact, let me get put some water in my sponge. Alright, so let's break out the old soldering iron here. Clean the tip with the sponge. 
Alright. So we will add some flux to this. Man, I'm the worst solder of all time. You guys have no idea how bad I truly am. Dude, where'd my solder go? Come on, bro. Why is everything going to be hard? All right. So let's, uh... So I'm not so worried about the uh, the legs, and I'm not worried about the legs because can I get the, all the pins in there? Yeah, because I want this thing to be secure when it's all said and done. All right, I don't know. I still got a little bit of solder on this leg right here. Right, I think that's. I think that's all nice and clean, so let's get a Q-tip, some alcohol, let's clean that off. Yeah, all the pads are in good shape, they do not look damaged, so let's go ahead, let's put some more solder on there. So I think those are nice pillows of solder. So one real quick, one, let me touch up this a little. I want a lot of solder on these legs, man. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. All right, so now I've got to find, I've got to find some, uh, what did I do with the HDMI ports that I had? Uh, here we go. So the weird thing about these, about these ports right here is, um, I bought these from Amazon, but it's like they don't line up perfectly in the hole. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what that's all about, but I don't know. We'll give it a try. Let's see if I can raise the microscope up to make this easier to see. Let's switch back to the microscope. Might be able to get the whole thing in there. All right, so basically, what we're going to do is we are going to just do the same thing, heat it up from the bottom, and then once the once we see the solder uh, on the legs, once we see it soften, then we'll just we'll put this on, and then we'll we'll press down with a we'll press this press down with a. Uh, Pair of tweezers so let's give this a try and see if we can do it without messing it up let me add some solder 
or some flux. Just like that. And again, I'm angling, I'm angling towards myself uh, so that I don't put too much heat on that on those EMI filters or whatever those are. I don't know if they're EMI filters, but some sort of some sort of filter. So I see things starting to soften up. So we are gonna So I'm going to press down and hold and I'm going to let it go and I'm going to wait for the solder to harden and then we'll test the connections. Alright one leg just went kind of kind of dull so we will test these connections real quick. Come up in. Can't see. Good. 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 Bad. bad too. This was not as easy as the other one I did. Alright, so let's try to touch up these. So let's, um, let's get our microscope in view here. I don't know if I have a small enough tip to even attempt to do this. This one right here is bent a little bit. Checking. Good. 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 Not good still. Alright, I need to add solder, I think.
That's still, dude, what in the world? Okay, you know what, bro? I'm gonna play games. Let's, uh... I think I have a bridge. So I think they're all soldered except I have a bridge. Let me see if I can get in here and clean this up a little bit. So I can see a little bit better. So I think, I think that's a bridge. All right, so let's, um, dude, where, where did it go? So I'm the worst solder of all time. I must, yeah, that's gotta be. Let's, let's put more flux right here. Let's try to clean our tip. Damp sponge. So it'll hopefully take solder. And then we'll come in. Damp sponge. Yeah, this is the thing I don't quite understand about soldering. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just because I have a cheap soldering station, cheap tips. It's like solder sometimes doesn't. Oh, there we go. Finally. All right. Let's check it one more time. Good. 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 Yep, they're all good. Well, that was kind of frustrating, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
the last one I did, I just set the port on there, pressed it down with the tweezers, and it was done. Everything was locked in. I'll even show you the back of these pads real quick here, so you can see. You can see what the uh, joints look like on the back. So this was me just for me putting. That one needs touched up. But you can see the solder came all the way through for the most part. So let's um hey, what's all what is all this? Is the are are the grant is it not uh is the pad gone or something? Did I do that, do you think? Did I burn it or something? I think I might have used too much heat, maybe. You live and you learn, I guess. All right, let's put a, let's put some flux on there. And let's give this a touch up with the solder now. I think that looks pretty nice. I think that looks pretty nice. So let's clean this up. You know, I just realized how did I not melt that plastic thing right there, dude? I got kind of lucky, I think. So hopefully that HDMI encoder did not get uh, damaged at all. So let's switch back to the camera and we'll put it back together enough to test. So I'm not going to replace the thermal paste yet. See here, this. All right, D. What's got you? What's got you? There we go. Something. Come on. There we go. All right. So there's that. There is this this goes on like so let's flap the fan connector back on here let's go ahead and find my screwdriver here's my screwdriver and put this on there well I need a bit need this Flip it over. 
grab our DVD drive. I don't know if you necessarily need this to test, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in there. All right, so is that everything? Why are you not sitting down in there, right? Uh, hmm. My cable. Because if I push this in there, it holds the daggone thing, the uh, other drive cable, it holds it out of the way so that when I put the power supply down in there, uh, we're good to go. So let's, um, let's put our power supply in. Flip it back over, and then we're going to take. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to plug in this HDMI cable, plug in the power cable. And then I'm going to try to switch this little HDMI switcher to to the PS so uh oh we got no power did I tear up something I think I did I think I tore up something oh no I didn't I know what I forgot to plug in. You guys probably watched me do it too. Good thing I think I put out 12 volts until um, you get the, the voltage ready deal. All right, so I should be able to plug this in here right all right there's that that's good now we can Now, now we can turn this over and hope that we got power. We got power, now I'm going to switch to the it doesn't work now. Let me switch to scene two. It doesn't doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Oh, there we go. Boom! Look at that, bro. Hey, uh oh, what happened? There we go. Why does it not? Why is it not picking up? I saw the PS logo there. Now it's rebooting. Perhaps it's confused. Maybe it needs storage. Oh, boom, look at that, dude. We fixed it. We fixed it. So it cannot start. All right, so uh, the next step is, is I'm going to 
completely disassemble this. Wash every part with um, some Dawn dish soap, clean the motherboard with alcohol, and then I will show you the finished product with a hard drive installed. Uh, and it'll, it'll look beautiful when I'm done. So I will see you in a bit. All right, as you can see, this thing cleaned up very nice. Reads games, HDMI works. It's a very nice PlayStation 4 console. So don't be afraid to change an HDMI port. It's not that bad.